Hello students, I'm Professor Benavides. Let's talk a little bit about taking the exams. Okay, so you're going to have four exams, one after each unit. So let's talk about how do you get ready for them, where you're going to take them, what dates you're going to take them, all that kind of good stuff. So if you click on modules, and let's drill down on, say, for example, the first unit. I'm going to collapse all of these so that we can get organized. So the first unit, you'll notice that the first exam, there's the due date right there. And the idea is the same for any of my classes, regardless of whether it's a 16-week class or an 8-week class. The due dates will be different, but the design is the same. So if you click on this link right here, you'll notice that this exam, when the due dates are, so again, the due dates may be different depending upon what class you uh, are taking with me. Uh, the thing that's constant is that it will be one hour in length and it will, um, you will be allowed three attempts and I, uh, the highest grade will be taken. Okay, so it's locked until until the day that it's, it's um, available to be taken, you know. Uh, so the avail look at the availability dates and that's when you can go ahead and take the exam. Okay. Um, how do you get ready uh, for the exams? Well, you read your book. And, and of course, one of the ways to, to do that, of course, is to read the book. But let's get focused on this. Unit 1 overview helps us to get focused on, on doing the labs, doing the exams, discussions, all that kind of good stuff. But if you scroll down on this, well, first of all, you notice this link about the course schedule is vital. Uh, let's see if we have anything related to the exams. Yes, uh, the exam, so each unit has a review and it tells you what I'm going to emphasize. I'm going to emphasize module three. And then I provide you with the PowerPoint presentations and the answers to the review questions. I suggest that you study all of this besides reading your book. Okay, so if you want to launch uh, the PowerPoint, say for example for computer hardware, simply click on the link. I'm in you know, what you will experience depends upon the browser you're in. I'm in Edge, so I'm going to click on Open, and then the PowerPoint presentation opens up. I can go ahead and then um, view it, you know, uh, and, and um, depends on, I have dual screen, so that's why you're seeing it the way uh, you're seeing it right here. The actual presentation is actually on, on another screen. Or you can just simply read the presentation. All right. So the first um, the first exam will be over the first three units. So if you click if you click on the overview, it will help you to get focused on what the exam is going to be about. I would do the end of chapter questions and then check my answers here. The books, how you access them. Well, if you if you registered for the subscription, you will come to unit zero and uh, go ahead and come over here where it says accessing your digital resources. Click on this link here for MindTap and that'll get you directly into the book. I'll have a separate uh, video that that dives into this uh, section right in here. So look for that uh, on here. So as far as, 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 as taking the exams are concerned, um, different different people like different w ways to get make sure they don't miss a deadline some people go to account and they set up notifications and they're sent uh, you can set it up so that you're sent text messages for all the due dates some people like to go to calendar view and view it that way I already told you the way I like to do it I like to do it the old-fashioned way I like to just go ahead and uh, click on that uh, link there for course schedule this uh, click on open. This has everything that you need all on one sheet. I mean, uh, this is the old-fashioned way. I know it, but it's the way I like to, do, to, to go ahead and do it. The calendar view, that's where we'll end. Some people like this particular view. Uh, you know, you can, if, you'll, if you'll click on that, you'll see everything that's due on, on using a calendar view. But remember, to take the actual test, before I go over the calendar view, you go into modules. You'll scroll down to the unit where the exam is, and on that day, you'll take the exam. 
Now each exam has a has a avail availability date. Now look at this. This is ridiculously good. So that you can take this exam anywhere from the 10th to the 16th. Again, the dates will be different depend upon which cl class you're in. Uh, the, the, the only thing that's constant is it will be one hour and you will have three attempts. Okay? That's not going to change. Uh, so this is where you'll come. If you want to take it as early as the 10th, you can. Or as late as the 16th, you can. You know? The calendar view, this is where we'll end up here. Uh, let's see now here. Um, this shows you everything that's due. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next month. And as you can see, um, the exam one, that's when it's due uh, there. All the other labs, as you can see, the, the due dates are, are shown here. So definitely, this is just another way to go ahead and, and view when things are due, are due. Other than that, that's all I got to say about taking the exams. The best thing you can do is, is, is read your book, read the PowerPoints, do the questions, and then take the test and take advantage of the fact that you can take it three times and that you have a, a wide period of time to take it. If you miss the exam, it's really hard to get a makeup. So don't go there. All right. So that's all I have to say. Thank you very much.